Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to today's Ultimate Team video. We tried to stream the rewards earlier, however, my PC was having massive, massive issues uh, in terms of streaming it. We had lag like every two minutes on the dot. So hopefully this video is going to be okay, but if it isn't, then that is the reason why. But hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, hit the thumbs up and we should hopefully be back streaming tomorrow with some more FIFA as well as some Fortnite is the plan. If you want to see more of that, then hit subscribe as well. But... We're going to jump in. We've got three accounts worth of stuff that we are going to be opening up today. First is mine, uh, where I hardly played. I played to Silver 1 because I couldn't be bothered and I don't like the game. But then we've got Sean's rewards and we've also got David who managed to get top 100, hence the title and thumbnail. So hopefully we're going to get him something good. At this point in the year, I have pretty much completed my road to glory. I've bought Havertz. There's no other players that I really want or need in my team other than Team of Season Neymar. He's 5.7 mil. So it really doesn't matter what I take here, to be honest with you. So just for the interest of the video, let's go with untradeables because why not? You never know. We could pack our first icon on my account this year and it would be amazing, wouldn't it? So let's go and do this and then we'll open up our terrible silver one pack. And who knows, maybe we'll get something in it. But mega packs to start things off, I'm not expecting to get anything other than maybe one possibly two boards in these four packs and i'd take that i mean nothing's got any value at this point in the game even if it was tradable so like even 85s are worth like 5 to 10k so you're really needing to pull someone absolutely massive in your tradable packs to get any kind of coinage so it's a shame that they took everything out of packs in terms of like the team of the seasons and all of those special cards so I still don't understand why they did that, but you never know. Maybe now we're going to get something incredible, untradeable to end off the year. Give me Messi. I've never packed Messi in FIFA. Go on. It's fine. I, I don't care if it's a board. To be honest with you, we get Ia Romendi, Giliano. So we get our two boards that I was hopeful for. Second pack. No walkout, no surprise. That's what you get for finishing Div 1 rank 3, I guess, and not really playing your games. We get two more 83s. Incredible. So, on to my absolutely amazing Silver 1 Foot Champs rewards. I can't believe how incredible these are going to be. I have no idea what you get as part of this. You get one player pick, a 25k pack, and a 35k pack. Or is that is that a player's pack? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, and 20,000 coins. It's not bad for Silver 1. It's very easy to get. Now, I don't know if this has any kind of rating cap. I thought it was Silver 2, so maybe we could get something in Silver 1. Here we go! I tell you what, a 93 rated. That's better than I've been getting in Gold 1 week after week throughout Team of the Season. Even Elite 3 when I've hit that. So, good old Gignac. Absolute legend. Get in the club, my friend. 93 rated. You're a hero. Now we open up our pretty much pointless other packs just because you never know. Mega pack we'll go with first. Squad fitnesses for the last weekend league would be good. I'd be happy with that. That's the only thing that I'm looking for here. Board, great. Great. It's going to be the absolutely wonderful Dimitri Payet. Amazing. Unique player. By the way, do you love the uh, the pink... Leicester kit, right? It's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Do we get any? Two squad fitnesses. Sure. Okay, that'll do. Next up, 25k pack, and then we have to switch over to... Whoa! We actually get a walkout. Wow. Then we have to switch over to uh, thingy. Marcelo? Alexandro. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. As I say... I don't think that I will be buying any other players on this game. So it really doesn't make a difference to me. However, I'm not going to complain at getting someone like Alexandro. How much is he worth though? He's an 86 at this point in the game. He's still worth an okay amount. Like 20 plus K could take me over 50,000 coins. If you times that by what? Uh, no, 50. Wait, 50,000 coins times that by... 10, yeah, times it by 100. So we're, we are, we'll have 1% of Neymar's value. Jesus. That's, uh, 
That's quite sad when you think about it in that way. So, what I'm going to very quickly do, hopefully incredibly quickly, but knowing FIFA, sometimes it takes a little while, we're going to switch over to Sean's account first. Now, Sean's look throughout this entire year, for those of you that have been watching the streams, Sean and David, basically, who we're opening today, have had the best look out of anybody. By far. And it's got to the point where it's incredibly frustrating. At first it was like, oh, nice. Nice pack, dude. That was, that's cool. Oh, you got another really, really good pack. That's, that's quite lucky. Oh, you got another one. Okay. Sure, that's... That's pretty pretty jammy at this point. You should probably share them out with other people, but that's that's okay. Uh, oh, oh, he's he's got another one and another one and an, uh, and it just keeps going and going and going. Great fun. So who knows? Who knows what nonsense we're gonna get for Sean to start things off? And then we've got David's account after that. The FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. So this expires tomorrow. So there'll be a new batch of free players that will get on loan. Um, Sean's team, for those that care, is that, we don't, we don't need to look at that, do we? Foot champions, let me quickly check exactly what he said he wants from this. So, he stopped at gold two, I assume. He said, pick the best player or player who you would pick. So, <laughs> maybe I'd pick the lowest rated player. Up to me, isn't it? So, we've got two player picks here. Can we get him something good? I mean, I, I don't know if he'd do any SBCs. The thing is, he's already got so many good super subs. I don't think Tovan would be good enough for what he'd want, considering how good his club is. So, I'll just go with the highest rated for him there, even though I think Tovan is a better player than Verratti. And then the other one is going to be... Mo Salah, I think this is the third time that I've got Mo Salah for someone in the last two weeks. Uh, last week, I can't remember exactly who it was, but they made me discard him. I'm not sure that Sean would be happy with that happening off stream. So, to be safe, I'll go with Santi Cazola. But I swear everyone other than me has had Salah come up as a red pick throughout Team of the Season. And it's like, what? Where's mine? Let me have him. 97 rated. I'd happily take that. So, we've got eight packs to open up as well. A couple of ultimate packs. I guess he took the untradables from Div Rivals. So, we'll see if we can get him anything in either the tradable or untradable. Hopefully something amazing. Like, give us an icon. Why not? Prime Hullet. Prime Moments Hullet. Why not? I mean, it's the end of the year. You think that... Even though they've taken stuff out of packs like Team of the Seasons, you'd think they would have juiced up packs for whatever else is remaining, like Icons, like Team of the Weeks, like Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar. But, I mean, a 50k pack, it's not, not great, <laughs> if we're being real here. Mega pack, also no walkout. This would be very sad if we don't get a walkout in any of these. Very, very sad. I mean, Felipe Anderson, it's okay, isn't it? A gold pack! You never know. That could be better than anything else that we open today. Let's do it. Go on. Give us an icon in a 5k pack. Oh, it would have been, would have been a good clickbait title, though, wouldn't it? It wouldn't even have been clickbait. It would have been true. But we get Rekic. Incredible. Let's go with the 100k pack next to spice things up. Walk out, surely. No. Poor dearie me. Now, I mean, at this point, this is Sean only playing to gold two. So it's not as if you've played a full 30 games and it's this is the best that you're getting. What is going to be worrying is when we jump on David's account and we see that he has top 100 rewards. And if he gets nothing in those, then it's going to be like, what's even the point? <laughs> Why continue to play this game? I know there's only one more weekend league, but still. Come on. So two more reg uh, rare mega packs, no walkouts in any of these. Though. Even I got a walkout. How has Sean not managed to get one? I mean, surely in the two ultimate packs, we have to get one. Even if it's Nemanja Matic or someone along those lines, there's got to be at least one. Not in the rare mega stuff. <laughs> oh, dearie me. 83 is a plenty, but okay. That's fine. Now, the two ultimate packs. 
Come on, EA. End it off with a bang. Nope. At least it's the board. Is that something that we can say at this point in the year? I, I'm not too sure about that. An 85, an 84, and an 83. David V is popping up in every one of his packs. Right, last pack. Christ. Like, what is the point? That is awful. 85 again. 84 untradeable dupe, unfortunately, but deary me. Right, we are moving on to the last account now then. This is David's. This is the set of top 100 rewards, okay? So, we've got to hope that they actually give him something good. I believe this is the first time he's finished top 100 ever. So... Hopefully it's going to be worth it. I remember when I finished top 100 in FIFA 17, I actually got really good rewards. And I then finished the next week Elite 1. That, that was back when you needed 35 wins out of 40 for Elite 1. And I think it was late in the year where you got the best of the previous rewards. So I think I got like the best of October and November rewards or something like that. And I got a really high rated Alexi Sanchez and he carried me to Elite 1 the next week. So that was really good. So, hopefully, we're now going to jump in, see some incredible packs and players open up right here. The Big David. So, I'll show you his team, obviously, before we open up the packs and show you what he's managed to get this year through untradables and everything like that. Sean was who we managed to get Messi and Neymar in the same pack untradable for. You thought that was good luck. Let me show you what I got for David very recently in his rewards, right? Let's go to his squad. And would you look at that red Mbappe? I mean, it's stupid, isn't it? Look at this. I imagine you all hate him as much as me. But it's the penultimate set of rewards for FIFA 19. Let me quickly check. I believe he said he wanted tradable rewards. Um, tradable Div Rival rewards. So he finished Div 1, Rank 1, and Top 100 this week. He's absolutely smashed it out the park. So let's hope that they give him something to reflect that. He gets a Mega Pack and an Ultimate Pack as his last set. Oh no, penultimate set of Div Rival rewards for this year. Of course, no walkout because there's nothing in packs. So you have to get insanely lucky to get it. Not even a board. 2,000 coins, though. Would you take that over getting a walkout? I don't know. <laughs> Ultimate pack, though. Come on, EA. No. It's just dead. It's just absolutely dead. And ult three Ultimate packs in a row with no walkout. An inform. I mean... Jack Cork. Right. But now, the big boy rewards. Top 100. I don't know exactly what number he finished. 90th in the world. So just about creeping in there. I assume that he probably couldn't afford to have lost any more games. And here we go. So we get four player picks with five players to choose from. The full Team of the Season 11 player pack. And two 100k packs. And 125,000 coins. As if he needs anything else in his club. I don't even know who he could get here. That would improve his team or replace anyone in his team or even his bench. But David, I wish you luck. I don't know if you're going to watch this as a video or jump on your account before. But here we go. Number one. <laughs> oh my god. I'm telling you. His account is absolutely rigged this year. Are you kidding me? He's already got a 97 Messi on his bench. You saw that. Red. And now we get him 99 Messi. I mean, maybe he doesn't want him. He's already got 97. Maybe he wants Pepe. I think he'd probably kill me if I don't take this Messi, though. So, wow. The thumbnail isn't even clickbait. Amazing. I mean, it doesn't matter what the rest are, does it? Doesn't matter at all. Who knows? He's had that Donnarumma for months, I swear. Uh, we'll take Izzo because he's a better card than Savanir. But wow, 99 Messi. 
ridiculous. Uh, Bruno's decent, so we'll take that. And then the last one is going to be... Pepe, anyway. Or maybe... I don't know if you'd want Teyers. Um, I mean, Teyers is probably cheaper. We'll take Pepe because it is a pretty sick card. So, Pepe, Bruno Fernandes and Izzo would have been good, but 99 Messi. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That's insane. So, let's open up the packs as well now. We got two 100Ks and then a full 11 Team of the Season players pack. We actually get a walkout, finally, and this is tradable as well. You're hoping that it's an icon at this point in the year because, I mean, it's that Skriniar. There's not really anyone that you can get here that's going to massively jump up your coins. So unless you get one of maybe, I don't know, the top five players in the game. I mean, 286 is good. Unless you're getting Neymar, Ronaldo, Messi, etc. Even at this point, their prices are way lower. But a walkout doesn't mean that much. But it is better than getting no walkouts at all, isn't it? So I'm sure I'll be happy with that. We will get rid of that Dembele and Laporte. Kepa will whack up there just because he probably has a bit of value. And now, I mean, this would be amazing if that had this has something good in it as well. 99 Messi has already topped this. But good luck. We want a good flag. A good nation flag here. So that we're not instantly disappointed. Uh, we're instantly disappointed. I mean, you could still have Havertz behind this and still many other good players. You're obviously missing out on Messi, Ronaldo, etc. Hopefully it's not all dead behind Donnarumma. You've got 10 other players here. Someone get Havertz. Lacazette is good. It's... Oh, God. Um... Good Alba's extinct. Okay. The 380k. Uh, it could be worse. I mean, let's let's ignore the right hand side of this pack. It's it's really it's not a good one. I'd love to know why Jordi Alba's extinct out of all of these players, but uh, you'd take it, wouldn't you? At this stage of the game, it's still probably going to be six, seven hundred thousand coins, something like that. And he got a red ninety nine Messi to replace that one that was previously on his bench. So ridiculous upgrade to his team. Thank you very much to uh, Sean and David for letting me open up your packs and hopefully you'll thank me for uh, for bumping out this Messi for a 99 rated one. I, I can't believe it. It's so stupid, isn't it? But, quickly get past these and there he is. So, madness, pretty much. Uh, and you can see the luck that he's had throughout the year on this account. He's had some crazy players. So that is going to be it from me. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. I hope that you did enjoy it. I, as I say before, if you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you know if you want to see more FIFA content, especially when FIFA 20 is going to drop just around the corner. But I will see you guys next time. See you later. Goodbye.